Now, going over to the political of our podcast, you have Vivek on the Supreme Court ruling 9-0, to zero, allowing Trump to run in all 50 states for presidential office. Now, this is a couple of days ago, but it is one of his most popular responses or posts, more accurately, on X Twitter. Now, Vivek says, quote, Today's 9-0 Supreme Court decision needn't be something to celebrate. It's something we ought to once again take for granted. We, the people, decide who governs. The fact that it took it to this to the highest court in the land to sh- say it shows how far we've fallen, but it's a good start in the right direction, unquote. And for women, that went pretty darn viral. It got 1.7 million views the first 48 hours of posting, as well as 60,000 likes. Now, going to the comments, I don't think we'll be too surprised. Probably overwhelming support. Because again, it's one of the most unified decisions the Supreme Court has made. Usually there's one or two that will just side with their pre- with politics, you know, look, you got the far, good old Sotomayor is pretty consistent just voting left on everything since the dawn of time or since she's been born. But let's go to the comments. You got Paul Zazupa saying, quote, it's a shame that SCOTUS even needed to get involved to secure our elections, but that's the current state of our country. Democrats in many states know they can't win on policy, so they resort to cheating. Lawfare is their latest tool. What will they use next? I'm quoting 948 likes. You also, has, you also have Luke Zaliski, who's our favorite leftist. Well, not really. I just appreciate more more content and in terms of more feedback and more getting in the echo chamber can get pretty boring pretty quick. So I always want to try to follow a couple of people on X Twitter who are more contrarian to some ideals. And to be told, he's much more far left, which makes it a little more entertaining because it's not most, well, not mainly, well, maybe mostly just mentally vacuous statements, but they are interesting and some people do agree with it. So I think it's important to review it. Now, Luke Salisi says, quote, just because Trump is allowed on the ballot doesn't mean he should be there or taken seriously as a candidate or even considered as a politician. He's a political mob boss and traitor who openly flouts the laws and mocks and delegitimizes America with his every utterance and action, unquote. Perhaps this is the pot calling the kettle black and mentally vacuous, but 43 people did agree with that statement. Now, 42 people actually responded, Count, but wonder, does he get ratioed himself? Just look at it and find out. Let's see, Decker responded saying, quote, based on the unanimous 9-0 SCOTUS decision, it actively appears those Colorado judges, judges openly flouted the law, pal, cry us a bigger river, unquote, gained 12 likes. Let's see here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Meh. Solidus says, quote, then don't vote for him. See democracy, unquote, gain two likes. Phil simply replied 9-0, getting three likes. So interesting state. Oh, not really interesting. Mentally vacuous statement by Luke Lucy, but it was there. Now going down more and more, you have let's see. Uncommon sense says, quote, who tried to take Trump off the ballot? White liberals. And he has a quote from Malcolm X, and it says, quote, the white liberal is the most dangerous thing in the Western Hemisphere. He's like a fox, unquote. That's from Malcolm X. Though, interestingly enough, if you look at the voting patterns and you know political tendencies, it would be more accurate perhaps to call it you know, white liberal women. So it's not he's a fox, she's a fox. Though it is 2024, that might be a pejorative, sex, not a sexual joke, observation or a comment? I don't know. Probably is. Now... Going down, that got 1.3 thousand likes. Gato, Gato Turd says, quote, well said my brother, they have tried but failed every single time. And this individual responded with a show, a screenshot from End of Wokeness. And End of Wokeness said, quote, Trump was impeached twice, indicted four times, arrested four times, and charged 91 times. All of that backfired, so states began to disqualify him from their ballots. Now that failed 9-0 of SCOTUS, what will they try next? A quote, 1,000 likes. Scrolling down, you have X Steve saying, quote, the idea that some state governments failed so badly here says something. How can people in those states trust their judicial system when it allowed something so ridiculous to have effect to have effect to be decided by the Supreme Court? This was a slam dunk. But the fact that it even came up is quite concerning. I'm just saying, quote, getting 317 likes. Travis Manor says, quote, the fact it took it to the highest court of, in the land shows how corrupt the lower courts are. The scary fact is they politically de- determined family law cases, unquote. Getting 141 likes. Valentin Gomez says, quote, America wants President Trump on the ballot, unquote. Getting 811 likes. 
Let's see, Jeno Ellis says, quote, it's always been the Supreme Court to hold the political branches and inferior courts in check. It's kind of the point of separation of powers and the judiciary structure with one Supreme Court. We should celebrate when our system of government works as intended. I'm quoting 793 likes, though, full disclosure, I also did like it, so I am one of 793. Let's see here. Kathleen Witchell says, quote, the law fair is crumbling all around us. More to come, I'm quoting 102 likes. I thought there'd be more contrarians. News Nomad said, quote, while you are running, your courage and good instincts prevail in being willing to remove yourself from any state ballots where they're planning to remove Trump, unquote. Getting 98, or sorry, 78 likes, which again, that's responding to Vivek's original post. And yeah, I think him, Vivek's doing, the, his action of that was definitely very perceived as admirable and doing the right thing, which are two very rare things in the United States these days. So I think, so hopefully people will value those things more and more as they become rarer and rarer. Let's see here. Susie says, quote, the fact that the Supreme Court decision was 9-0 makes a definitive statement. I'll take a win as a win. I'm quoting 65 likes. Scrolling down more and more. We'll do one, two more comments here. Seems overwhelming support. Not too surprised, though. Jay Pennyview says, quote, the founders knew this would happen. That's why they framed the government the way they did. If there's any hope left in America, it's at the Supreme Court. I'm quoting eight likes. One more from Jim Aaron saying, quote, state Supreme Courts like the ones in New Mexico and Colorado are controlled by the out-of-control Democrats and ignore the laws of their own states. Unquote, hashtag Colorado Courts gained nine likes. So again, overwhelming support. And interestingly enough, I mean, ish, this fact that Trump did win 9-0 with the Supreme Court, it should unite all of Americans. Because again, the Supreme Court is made by people on the left, people on the right. Well, thankfully, for the first time in decades, actually does have some people who believe more in the Constitution than others, which, again, is a very rare thing. But it was unanimous. So I don't think it actually will really unite the United States. I think very few things can at this point. But let me know. Do you think this actually will unite some people? Do you think it will actually maybe help Trump get some additional votes or get some additional support he didn't have during the 2020 election where he was unsuccessful at his bid for the, for the uh, United States president? Again, I cannot sometimes speak proficiently. However, if you click the subscribe button, I do have a little bit of theory. When I first started the show, I had very few subscribers. And believe it or not, my speaking was much worse. I spoke even faster, stumbled over my words. I was, frankly, at sometimes monotone, lithic. However, as we've gained more subscribers, I've slowly but surely increased my speaking aptitudes. Now, granted, some might say it's just a modicum of improvement, barely any at all. But I think if you watch the old videos, there's a little bit of improvement. So I can't but think it's probably directly correlated to the subscriber count. So if you, again, if you can click that button and tell your friends and share the video, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you everyone again for taking the time to tune in today. Again, we're trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you click that button, I greatly appreciate it. Also leaving a thumbs up or a thumbs down or a comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback. Let me know how I can make the show better and better and better. Also sharing the video is a great way to give some magic to the YouTube algorithm and have some more eyeballs on it. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.